All right, welcome back. It's Back to the Basics. I'm Sean Barr, and today we are talking about Session Initiation Protocol. You down with SIP? Yeah, you know me. Let's go! All right, we're back and we are talking SIP, that Session Initiation Protocol, typically used for voice and video, additionally used for IM communication, so anything real-time. SIP basically initiates, terminates, and maintains real-time sessions, and it works with other protocols such as SDP and TLS. SDP kind of helps it negotiate codecs, things like that. TLS would be a protocol it would use to provide some additional security or encryption. Um, and so how is SIP used today? Well, if you are making video calls over the internet, you're making voice calls over the internet, chances are SIP is in the mix. Um, so it's really popular. It's basically what SMTP is to email. SMTP is the protocol which uh, helps email flow and SIP is the protocol that helps video and voice flow. Again, if, if you're using, uh, let's say you're using a video system to make a call either to another business or maybe a conferencing service, um, it's going to most likely be using SIP. There's also H323 for video, um, not as common today as SIP is. So SIP is, is pretty much widely used if you're going to make a video or voice call over the internet. So what are some examples? Well, if I'm making a call from, let's say, a video endpoint. So that could be a Cisco video endpoint. It could be a, a Skype video endpoint. A lot of times, if you're calling a service like uh, there's BlueJeans, there's WebEx, there is uh, a Zoom, all these, these solutions out there accept SIP. And so you could call in from that video endpoint, regardless of what it is, using SIP to communicate. Once you get on that bridge, you're gonna be able to make a call, uh, be able to share your video and uh, stuff like that. So that's about it for SIP. If I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I'd love to know more about that, leave a comment, make sure you like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next Back to the Basics. Thanks for watching.